Hey guys, it's Brittany. So today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPod <coughs> video. And I'm going to turn the camera around um, to try to <coughs> get you a closer up look. Um, I am currently have a purple auto box on it. And it just has the light purple um, hard case and the rubber case. And for any <coughs> any of you who don't know how to put the OtterBox cases on, I'll just show you that really quick. As kind of like <coughs> a short tutorial on how to put them on. Um, this is for anyone who is getting their iPod Touch for the first time or if you um, are getting your OtterBox for the first time. So, when you get it in the package, it's going <coughs> to come together, and I'm only going off of what I remember from when I got mine, because I got mine in um, December. So, it's going to come like this with um, nothing in it, of course, and it's just going to have the rubber on the front and the hard plastic. So, you have to take the rubber off first, and let me turn this a little so the um, light isn't in the way. So, then you have the hard case, and on the side, there's going to be little arrows, and you just pop this side along the arrows off. <clears throat> and then you you have two pieces and I promise this isn't gonna take long um, so you're gonna start with the back piece that has the camera hole and the where you can see the apple so you're just gonna put it in there like that <clears throat> you're just, and it doesn't snap in so don't try to snap it in and then you just lay the top part on top of it and where you open where these arrows are you just snap it shut and make sure it locks everywhere because you really want your ipod to stay in and then you just slide it into the rubber part and mine's a little deformed only because i got it so long ago um i haven't changed it because they're kind of expensive but, um, and that's how you put the OtterBox on. So, let's get started with my apps and what they do. Okay, guys, so, um, you probably noticed that I do not have my OtterBox on because it is right there. Um, I took it off for this video only because I don't like it getting in the way. Um, so my lock screen is just, um... A flower and you can see me in the background because it's my screen is immaculately clean um, I've taken care of this thing ever since December um, it's 543 May 22nd and then <coughs> um, I just got this lock screen from one of the apps I'm going to show you so you slide to unlock and I have a password so <coughs> my background is this um, zebra background and that I also got that from a um, app so the first folder I have is productivity and I'm trying to see and turn it to where you don't see the glare um, the first one is passbook um, I really don't use this because I don't travel a lot <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, my camera cut off, so I was at Game Center. Game Center, I don't use iTunes, Maps, Weather, I use sometimes um, if it's during the summer and I just want to go somewhere. Um, and Reminders is the last one. So then I have FaceTime, which I use um, when I go away for, like, a holiday or something like that. Um, camera, Notes, Photo videos, calendar, mail, these are all the apps that come with the iPod, 
Safari, which I don't use, Stocks, Memos, Contacts, um, App Store, Calendar, Settings, Clock, and then down here I just have Messages, Text Plus, Text Me, and Google Chrome. The only one that costs money is the um, Text Plus. The next folder I have is the social folder, and I just have Facebook, Skype, Twitter, Snapchat, Bump, Kick, Tumblr, Message Me, Followers Plus, which is um, to see who's following you on Instagram, and Insta Follow, which is the same exact thing. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, only because I do um, have a lot of apps on here that I will talk about um, in different videos. So next I have social too, and I have blogger, which my blogger is ivoryvales.blogspot.com. Blog loving, <coughs> which this is an amazing app. Um, if it'll load. It's just where you can read um, different blogs throughout the day um, on your iPod that you've marked for um updates. So I have Ellen Blair, The Kardashians, Juicy Star 07, um, Top Blogs, Popular Posts, Liked Posts, and All Unread. Then I have WordPress. <coughs> My WordPress, WordPress is um, Daylight Dreamer, I think. Hold on just a second and I can get that information for you. It's on my computer. Okay, hold on just a second, guys. Okay, it's daylightdreaming96.wordpress.com. And then I have Formspring. Oops. Formspring, which my Formspring is... Hold on just a second. I'm trying to think of the name. I can't think of... can't remember what it was because you don't pick it. Okay. My <coughs> form spring... I didn't pick this one, guys. Um, it was picked for me. It's Puppy Love, L-U-V for Love, 96. And my Twitter, that was back in here. My Twitter is Brit, B-R-I-T-T. -T, Love, L-U-V, 96. Um, my Tumblr, <coughs> I haven't set up yet. And everything else is a personal um, account. So the next thing I have is Birthday Countdown, which <coughs> it just gives you um, the number of days till your birthday and a cute little picture that you can switch every day. Um, I'll show you the background of mine. The background is my of mine is this, and I don't know why it did that. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so it just says happy birthday, and it says one month, three days, and an odd number of hour or minutes, <coughs> and stuff like that. The next thing is I have is Doodle Buddy, which um, and self-explanatory. Um, you can just, like, draw with your finger and stuff like that. The next thing I have is, I didn't want to open that. Um, the next thing I have is Craigslist. Um, I use that because I go on there to find, like, cheaper things from, than, um, Amazon or eBay. The next thing I have is iFunny, and I'm sure you all have heard of iFunny. Then I have PayPal and Music. Those are both kind of explanatory. The next thing I have is personalization. So this one is where the screen, this background is that you're looking at right now, and it's called Skin My Screen. It's um, it's free. The next thing I have is Lock Screen, which is what my lock screen was, and that's free also. Next is photography. I have Instagram, which my Instagram is, um. Brit, B-R-I-T-T-L-U-V-96. Pick Stitch, which um, you can just kind of like make a collage. 
splice in case I ever um, tape with this, square ready, photo edit, pixelomatic, camstar, retrica, retrica, sorry, camwow, and versagram. And I'll go into more detail about those on different um, videos. Music, I have iHeartRadio, Pandora, and Shazam. Shazam is just um, where it listens to the song for 10 seconds and then it can tell you what song you're listening to, what the artist is, and what album. <coughs> Utilities, I have the Weather Channel, My Radar, Wonderlist, which is um, a to-do list, and I use this all the time and tells you um, when you have something to do, and it just has little reminders and everything. And then YouTube. Shopping, I have Forever 21, Winello, Coupons, Overstock, Target, which for Target app, they give you a username and password to use their Wi-Fi on your device in the store for free. So I definitely recommend that app if you are ever in the store and need to use Wi-Fi or something like that. Wishlist is just um, <coughs> to... Tell what you want for, like, um, when you get paid for your job or Christmas or birthday or something like that. Retail Me Not is a coupons. Um, I use this all the time. You can type in the store at the top or you can, at the bottom, you can scroll along and see what the daily deals are. Um, and then Starbucks, that's just to um, keep track of your favorite drinks and stuff like that. Then I have games, and I have Subway Surfer, Candy Crush. Subway Surfer is kind of like exactly like Temple Run, except for it's a little kid's version. Um, Candy Crush is like um, Bejeweled, Words with Friends, Scramble with Friends, Hanging with Friends, What's the Phrase, and Ruzzle. And Ruzzle and um, Scramble with Friends are kind of the same. So, and Then I have all free books. Um, I have Blog Handbook, iBooks, which comes with the iPod, Wattpad, which is, um, they're not <coughs> published books, but they are, um, they're from teens and adults that have written really good stories, and they get published, and they're really good reads. Um, eBook Search, which I really don't like that app, but I just haven't had the chance to delete it, um, Excuse me, Goodreads is where you can figure out what book you want to read next by the reviews on it. The Bible, um, Free Books 10,000, um, that's a really good one if you are into um, classic books like Roar of the Worlds, um, Diary of Anne Frank, I'm trying to think of other ones, Oliver Twist, stuff like that. Um, blogger techniques and blogging ideas. So, and then I have newsstand, which I don't have anything in there. So, I hope you guys like this video and come back for more.